And the professor is very candid. Wanakaja, we have a problem. That is the truth. We have a problem. We have a problem and a big one. Juicy, what we are a criminal gang, walikuwa na subu watu kwa DCI, wamekamatwa, kuliko kukubaya kupeleka kotini, OCS hamechukua waka hongo, ya watu kumina ine, hamewachidia. Ati muna taka tukaya na mtu kama huyo. How? How? At the station commander has powers to do whatever he wants. In which country? Which one? He can have William Ruto. He. Tafana, tafadhali. Tafadhali. Tu silete mchezo kwa kazi. Ya makuna aja. I want to speak to these officers because I was one of them. Na hii kazi president ni nipatia ni kozo. Nina yelewa kidogo. I don't know too much. I'm a bit rusty. I've been away for too long. But I have a slight idea. The station commander is the center of police operations. And everything revolves around the station commander. That's why you are in this meeting. A police station is as efficient as a station commander. A police station is as rotten as a station commander. A police station is as corrupt as a station commander. It all boils down to leadership. A station commander defines what happens in that station. If he decides he will be collecting bribes, they will be, they will be collected by the OC, his deputy, the OC crime, the inspectorate, the NCOs, and the constables. Because that is the leadership that has been provided in that station. Kazi ya station, kuchukua hongo, kwanzia mkubwa, all the way to the constable. If the station commander decides that in the station there is no corruption, there is no bribery, the deputy station commander will not collect bribes. The OC crime will not collect. The NCOs will not. The constables will not. What am I saying? The illicit bruise and drug abuse and other crimes will solely be in the hands of the station commander and the success or failure of it will be your marking scheme. And there is no station commander who has failed in us. One station will be taken to lead another one. No. It's not possible. We went to Bomet, to Kericho with the president for a Thanksgiving service. On a Sunday at 10, half the congregation was drunk. Hawa kina serenda walikuwa wanaangalia chini kwa sababu ya hivu. So, kuuliza, all the station commanders wako na mabaa. Wanachukua protection fee. So, hii shida wezi isha. Sapreza kaniuliza sasa, hii nchi, am I the president of this country? Nakambia, you are excellent in the way, president. Kaniuliza na deputy ni nani, ni kanyamasa. With the shame and embarrassment. I was so embarrassed. How? So, what we are saying, we have come here today to Saidiane. We want a new beginning. We know you are badly deployed. The government that was there did not care about the state of the citizens, they did not care whether people are drunk or not. In any case, most of those people were also drunk, so there was no problem. But we have a new government that is saying we must have a sober society for our development and for order to stay in society. And this new government is saying, Kuliko tu umizane, tu sugumuse tu kubaliane. Because this regali ya William Ruto, this regali ya masugumuso, and engagement. I've come to engage you on behalf of the president. How do we stay together? Please understand us. Hatuna ubaya. Tunataka tu watu wazuri. Na hatutaki ulevi ya kupidukia. Na hatutaki vichana wetu wakufe.